Yo guys, you want to know why I love recording tutorials so much? Right now, I'm sitting here completely butt naked and you can't even tell. Just kidding guys, I'm fucking with you. I'm in my boxes right now. Or am I? <laughs> <laughs> That's enough of that. <laughs> Yo, but seriously, guys, if you want to talk with me, I just made a Discord and, like, a whole Discord server for us astronauts. So, like, we can all be in one place and we can set up, like, these group calls and stuff. And you guys can talk with me and I get to talk with you. Go ahead and click the link in the description if you want to join the new Discord server. Pretty awesome, right? Anyway, today, we're going to be making this cool little trap lead. It's actually probably one of my favorite trap leads I've ever made in Serum. And this is what it sounds like. Hey, what's up, astronauts? Let's just jump right into the tutorial here, guys. First things first, we're gonna be running frequency modulation. So you already know we gotta be running some basic shapes, okay? Because how else are we gonna be getting those frequencies from our oscillator B into the mix if we're if we have like super complex wavetables? We wanna be running a very basic wavetable to get it started. So I'm sticking with my sawtooth waveform, super handy dandy. And now we're gonna go ahead and turn on FM from B. Surprise, surprise. I know we do this like all the time. Time, but it's cool we're gonna go ahead and turn down the level of oscillator B all the way down to zero because we don't need it it's gonna be outputted through oscillator A we're gonna grab our analog we're gonna find uh, basic MG and now just going through the wavetable as you can see it looks simple yet complex okay that's the that's the theme of today's video simple yet complex okay so Basically, what we're going to be doing here is we want to find a spot like around 70. Okay, this is pretty good. That's going to do. And of course, like when we get into the sound, we could we could change the weight to a position and find even better options. But for now, let's go ahead and turn up the FM. And actually, I'm going to leave the FM at around like 52%. Now, guys, we want to go ahead and make this sound really harmonic. So we're going to start off by turning up the octave plus three. All right, and now the sound sounds pretty good at around octave C0. But when we're actually working in the sound, we're gonna drop all the way down to the lowest possible octave. So uh, go on your keyboard. Yeah, it sounds like shit right now, but stick with me. We're gonna go ahead and turn on our sync. And now the sync is when the magic's gonna start to happen because we're gonna be jumping this up even more octaves higher. So like. And of course we can mess with the sync later, but right now we're gonna leave the sync right around uh, 2.98. And I hope you guys heard that voice crack because it sounded absolutely disgusting. And I want you guys to really take in how gross that voice crack just sounded. Okay, so now <laughs> what we're gonna be doing is we go into our filter, go into the miscellaneous section and we grab our all passes filter. Now, most people when they're working with trap leads they like rocking reverb now reverbs are pretty good but they have this weird like delay effect and when we start to mess with the cutoff so we don't want that especially when we turn up the resonance now all passes is like super super good filter that not too many artists are actually using i'm dead ass like everyone's using the reverb no one's touching the all passes hop on that all passes train boys let's go ahead and just mess around As you can hear, it kind of sounds like we're adding in a little bit more noise to the sound, um, which is kind of what's going on, but we're gonna go ahead and take our LFO number one now. We're actually gonna modulate the cutoff down, okay? Now this is gonna be very key, because this is what's gonna create the screechy effect. Now if we were to do this in the reverb filter, it will sound a little bit messy. All passes is what's gonna be do making this nice and clean. All right, let's go ahead and just shape our LFO a little bit now. We're going to go ahead and leave this on no, we'll put this on one half and we're going to put this on envelope. That way, once it goes through this curve, it's just going to continue off into infinity and beyond. All right, so it doesn't sound too impressive just yet, but guys, stick with me because now we're going to be making some of the magic happen in the effects section. But at least now you can hear how the all pass is really affecting the sound because it affects it in a really positive way. And this is a really, really good way to get that screechy effect in any of your leads. Just Throw on an all pass filter. Now, compressor, multi band, boom. Don't need to touch it. Maybe turn up the gain a little bit. All right. And now we just put on some hyper. Turn down the size on the dimension, low size, high mix. And guys, remember what I said? The theme is simple yet complex. Like this lead is absolutely fire. I love it. Uh, but it's actually sounds pretty damn good if you were to hear it in a song like this is one of my favorite trap leads So now we're gonna go ahead and EQ and just cut out a little bit of the low end um, Just by let's turn on the Q factor that way. We don't have that weird peak. Okay 
And that's that's really key, of course, because it is a trap lead. We don't want to be having all those extra frequencies in there. Now, reverb's completely up to you. We're not really going to mess around with reverb settings too much because that's completely up to you. But what's really going to make this sound actually pop, because right now, it's not popping. You know what I mean? We go ahead and take our LFO number two. Go to global master tune here. So now we have the ability to control the overall tune of the sound. We're gonna make this type go straight forward. So we're just going from zero, our, our starting point to we'll say 19, which I believe is about uh, two octaves higher. We can actually find out for sure by going double click for typable values on controls. Now we go back here and we type in two all right, actually, we'll do 24 ST, which means 24 semitones, which is 12 oct er, <laughs> which is two octaves higher. All right, and now the bitch is freaking out, but it's okay. We're gonna let it freak out because what we're gonna do now is we're just going to go ahead and shape our sound a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and go into our LFO two, and this is when we're really gonna add in some flavor to the sound. And that's why I say work in the lowest octave because now we're going up two octaves higher in this screechy sound. Put this on envelope. Now you just shape it up a little bit. And that's how we finish with this ending sound. Ah, pretty cool, right? And guys, I do have more complex tutorials coming later this week, so stay tuned. I have some really, really cool stuff I can't wait to show you. Like, I actually have an Excel sheet worth of tutorials. So, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe for that and more awesome Serum tutorials. That's why we're trying to cover everything that you need in Serum. So, stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, my name is Shane from Rocket Powered Sound. Make sure you subscribe, drop a like if you like this video, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next Serum tutorial. And on discord join the discord server i've never really used discord so you know it might be uh, a little bit weird at first but join the discord server my name is shane from rock about i'm gonna catch you guys in the next serum tutorial